We're here at Divhurst Farms, which is between Ingersoll and Tempsford in southwest Ontario. We're doing a tour today with two bloggers, and uh, I'm sure it'll be interesting to show them. They don't have much experience uh, with farms, so it'll be interesting to show them what we do here and the whole process, I guess, from start to finish. I want to see how the animals live, how they're taken care of. I'm really interested in the environmental aspect and just learning more about how the farm operates um, and you know building that connection between what we eat at home and like a local Ontario farmer. So how many cows do you have here? Uh, there's around, when we're full, it's around 900. And that's considered a big farm? No, that would be a medium farm, not huge. Okay. But that's as many as we can grow feed for. That's so cool that's... that you grow feed to feed them. So everything is done on farm, you don't have to ship anything in. That's and, cool. and what do they eat? Mostly corn, so the corn byproduct is was corn originally, it goes through the ethanol plant, comes out as feed, and then the rest of it's corn silage, high moisture corn. We're grinding a bit of dry corn now, so it's just corn, different forms of corn. What goes into caring for them though while you're raising them? My dad, he does most of the pen checking, he's really good at it. So he checks every he checks twice a day, morning and night, and I feed twice a day, morning and night. So okay. when I'm feeding, he's walking through pens, and if there's anything wrong, if he sees something that looks sick or off or digestive upset, anything like that, then we get them out of the pen and then we bring them up and then we check them and treat them if we need to. I think the, the number one thing I'll be telling people about this experience is about how it really is a family operation and it's all about uh, working the property and doing it together. And I would say ask a farmer what they think and what they do to make sure that they're protecting the environment and the animal welfare instead of just relying on media and social media. I think it's really important to actually ask people directly what does sustainability mean for farming and about animal welfare and also the difference between feeds and why it matters.